colors. I broke it down into four colors. Chest, mouth, nasal or mask, and head. The chest is basically you lean your tone into the into your against your chest. Hey, like that. Whoa. What that happens when you do that is the larynx automatically lowers and gives you more space in your vocal tract. Your vocal tract is the space from your the lips of your vocal folds all the way through the end, all the open spaces through the back of the throat, the mouth, and the nasal cavities. That's your vocal tract. And that's why each person sounds so different from someone else, because we all are, uh, we all have different vocal tracts. That's just one element. Of course, there are other things, background and, and culture and what we've grown, what the music we've grown up to listen to and the music we're singing. But that's the vocal tract. And you can make all kinds of wonderful sounds uh, by changing that vocal tract. So the, um, the chest color is, whoa, the mouth is where we speak. Whoa, hi, how are you? The mask is more up in there, and the very nasal is used for character voices. But the mask is used for a lot of pop singing, and you must, most of the time, I have to say, you must be anchored in the mask. Hi. Hey, 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 And then we have the head color, and these are colors, not uh, resonances. I used to call them resonances, but there is no head resonance and there is no chest resonance because both the head and the chest are completely enclosed. And you need an opening to have an actual resonance. So I like and prefer to call them colors. So if I were singing, say, the first uh, phrase of one of my favorite jazz songs, When Sunny Gets Blue, and I were doing in chest color, it would sound like this. Let's see. When, no, let's see. Um, when sunny gets blue. Let me give a little more chest up. When sunny gets blue. That's my chest color. This would be my mouth. Same notes. I keep it the same notes that you can hear the difference in the colors. When sunny gets blue. That's my mouth color. My color in my mask is when sunny gets blue. And then my head color is the quietest of all. When sunny gets blue. And this gives me the freedom. I could change within one phrase the, uh, the colors, right? I could start in chest and end in head. When sunny gets blue. Or I could start in mask and end in chest. When sunny gets blue. And notice the word blue um, is, is a sad word, blue. So I wouldn't do a shimmer bravado on blue. I would do maybe a slow bravado or a delay. Blue. And on the word sunny, it's a happy sound. It's a happy word. I wouldn't go when sunny, when sunny. I would use a shimmer vibrato on, on sunny and a delayed vibrato on blue for, to express the words because all of these techniques really are tools of expression. Then we have ex, uh, actual throat configuration um, expression to express the sounds, uh, the emotions of the, of the song, of the, not the song, but the word. Uh, we've got the throat cry, and it's done with a feeling of wanting to cry. And I didn't invent this. The Italians call it pianto di gola, tear in the throat, tear of the throat. And it sounds like this. Oh, mama who bore me, mama who gave me. It's pain, it's suffering, it's need, it's desperation, it's want. And then you've got the throat laugh, which is, very, it, you feel a laugh, a giggle in your throat. It's like, ah, it's feeling of joy and excitement. I feel pretty. Oh, so let me give it the. I feel pretty. Oh, so pretty. I feel pretty and witty and bright. And that's the throat laugh. A throat, you wouldn't sing that with a throat cry. I feel pretty. Oh, so pretty. See, it doesn't go. Um, so I'm going to play you an example of the throat laugh in the song Good Morning Baltimore. You'll also hear on uh, the character nasal I was telling you about. 
track number eight. And then we have um, the back L. I figured this one out. I didn't know what to call it, but I would hear singers during the one of these days, you're gonna miss me, honey. You know, I heard that. And I said, well, that's, you know, she doesn't talk that way. So she's doing something in her throat to make a certain configuration to make it sound that kind of uh, bluesy, smoky, um, vampy kind of sound. So I said, oh, what is that? Oh, 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 one of these days, maybe this time, for the first time. I said, oh. That feels like a, a back of the tongue doing a very strong L. A back L. Oh, oh, okay. There's an L. What do I call that? I don't know. It feels like a back L. You'll feel it in the words call, wall, all. If you just say those words, you'll feel your back of your tongue going down like that. I'm going to love you like nobody's loved you. Come rain or come shine. As opposed to I'm going to love you like nobody's loved you, come rain or come shine. It's a different sound and a different character. And if you're doing a cabaret act, you'll want to have all these techniques, all these colors, all these ex different expressions for different songs, because maybe you're not doing the same character as you would in a show. So you might want to have a more of a variety of, of uh, expressions uh, on your palette. If on, uh, on your artistic palette. Okay, then we have the creaky door, and it's kind of like a vocal fry, but it's used for pain and suffering, and usually in front of uh, vowels. Uh, and I am telling you, I'm not going. You can use that for pain and suffering. 